now we send our children off helmets and, and you know pads, shin pads and elbow pads and be careful. We have to know where they are on their mobile phones every minute of the Drives day. Me absolutely mad. Uh, the part near me, we've got these bicycles where you're practically on the floor. You yep. sit down it and cycle. And people, are, and people are putting <laughs> helmets on their kids. I mean, I, I, I think... Sometimes, actually, I think it's quite cruel when you see these kids with the scooters, a tiny little scooter that nothing's really going to happen, and they're padded up and down, hat on, well, and they can hardly yeah, move. Yeah, but I have, to, I have to disagree with you with the, with the um, helmets, because I think wearing helmets on bikes or scooters or anything is important. Maybe not the, you know, the elbow pads and knee pads, but I do think the head needs to be protected. Where have all the grazes of the 70s gone? Well, no, they were grazes, like grazes, but they won't get brain gravel damage. in our knees. I used to love picking gravel out of my knees. Yeah, <laughs> well, but I had an accident about every five minutes as a child. Uh, I fell over in the park when I was eight and nearly took my leg off on an iron stake. And then I was about 12 and I ran between two parked cars I mean, my mother worked, just ran immediately after me but couldn't catch me and a motorbike hit me and my big <gasps> frilly teeth stuck in my lip. Oh, yeah. Do you know what she did? She didn't want the shame of an ambulance coming to our street in Fulham. So she put two wet tea towels over my head <laughs> and walked me to the bus stop at the end of the road and then we went to the A&E department in the local hospital on the bus. On the bus. <laughs> and I remember the bus conductor saying, is anything wrong with your uh, little girl, uh, Mrs Bull? And she said, Said, oh no, she'll be all right in a minute. <laughs> and we got to the hospital and they took the blood stained tea towels off and she fainted. <laughs> I have to say, when I was younger, if I fell over and grazed my knee, which she did all the yeah. time, yeah. the one person I didn't go running to is my mother because if I did, she met me at the door with the biggest, biggest bottle of TCP you've ever oh, seen. Oh, ouch. Yeah. yeah. So I would rather bleed to death. <laughs> What have you done? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> You're lucky you didn't grow up in my family because if you grazed yourself, yeah, the pestle and mortar would come out and they'd start mushing garlic <laughs> and salt. It's an antibiotic. Oh. <laughs> no! That's <laughs> garlic. Oh. Straight on your cup. Well, Girls on a wing. Character building.